Here are the five things I hate most about my 640D. So when you're first buying these cars, everyone says, find the best spec you can. I found one on the sunroof. It's not really a sunroof though, is it? So the number one most annoying thing about this car is the sunroof. It's all very well and good calling it a sunroof, but it's really not. Now, it's really nice to have that bit of glass above your head when you're driving. However, it doesn't open. It'll tilt, as I'll show you now, but it doesn't open. What is the point? That's it. <laughs> that is it. And when you're driving along, you just get a horrible buffeting noise. It doesn't slide back. What a waste of time. Number two, soft closed doors. Number two, also one of my favourite, but also really annoying, the soft closed doors. When you close them over, you hear the latch clicking around and it really does my head in. It's unnecessarily noisy. Number three, why is it so long? It's over five metres. So it pokes out of most parking spaces, which is really annoying. And in some cases, there's actually a sign saying you can't park anything over five meter in car parks. So technically, it's only four mil over. I doubt anyone's going around with a tape measure. Number four, run flat tires as OEM fitted ride terribly, as you can be seeing here. Let's see what we've got in store for the 640D. Um, we're doing another... ah! Run flat tires are horrible. They're fitted OEM to these cars. Previous owner didn't bother to change them across. They ride horribly on our UK roads. Crashy, bangy, no, change them when you can. Number five, the boot lock on this car really does my head in. You open it and it doesn't quite open as immediately as it should do, as I'll show you now. It's just really fiddly, it's that momentarily delay. They're just really unnecessarily fiddly, it's that small delay where you're like, is it open, is it unlocked? And you try and pull it open and it doesn't quite open and then it does, it really does my head in. Also, why is there no auto shut boot function? You know, for a car of this calibre with what it's got, I don't think it was an option on these cars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, a button to auto close would have been lovely. If it could have been one of those things that you waft your foot underneath to close it as well, even better. Don't start roasting me. There is plenty I love about this car as well. It is a big wafty bus. It does great mile per gallon. It looks cool. It doesn't look its age at all. But yeah, just a few niggly things that they could have sorted for it to be the perfect daily. Swagger down the street with your